This is the strategy that wins 100% of the time in the game mode Jumpstarted Bonanza. Because in this game mode, the game begins on a much higher round than normal. Starting cash and income are set to a random value based on the starting round and all sources of income. So balloon sends, farms, Benjamin, etc., are double. So money is not an issue, which means we can have a crazy defense. And we have money to rush our opponent. So let me show you how good this strategy is. All right, first game here on the map docks, round 21 with $84,000 starting cash and 5.5k eco. Don't emote on me, bro. Why are you emoting on me, okay? You're using Etsy and a Bonanza. So we have about 50 seconds to set up our defense. And this is actually not as much money as I would like to have, but... We, we still have an absurd amount of money. Don't get me wrong. So we definitely want to start off with Adora. I guess actually no way. I'm going to want my super monkey, my eventual true sun god, probably right about there. We definitely want Adora to be inside the range of our eventual true sun god, of course. The only bad thing about this game mode is that your hero also starts off at level one. Kind of sucks, but I think she'll gain a little bit of XP technically when uh, round 21 starts here. He's going to go for the rate of doom. I'm going to go for a bottom path village as well. Behind my face game, you guys actually can't really see. And then just simply all we need to do is just go for a sun avatar right here. And then an MIB village. That is literally it. And let's immediately get to eco -ing. Actually, you probably should send purple eco here, okay? Because he's not going to die. I don't really want him to die. But I do want to win with today's video, right? So I I'm 100% still going to be going for the win. But with him having the Super Monkey and the Dartling Gunner, definitely a pretty go to tower combination. But I think our strategy and the tower combinations that we have within it are going to be even freaking better for us. Okay, so I could even go for more village farms. I, I guess I will. Oh, he's got the farm too. Okay, so Dartling Farm Super Monkey is a pretty solid strategy. Having banana farms within your strategy too is pretty nice. But the nice thing about the village is that it can buff all your towers, making them a lot stronger. And also, to the bottom path upgrades are practically banana farms now in battles, too. So we can make our towers stronger and generate some more cash. So that's the crazy thing about the freaking village, man. And finally, he's going to start sending us purple eco. Yeah, definitely purples are the best balloon to eco with. Now, we could even eco with tight leads. However, tight leads do cost a lot of money, although money is not an issue. But they also lag the game. So I kind of just don't want to lag the game here immediately. But technically, if you want to get even more eco and more money, go ahead and send the tight leads if your device and your opponent can handle it. But yeah, I'm not going to go for any more village farms down here just because I don't think it's going to be worth it. I mean, yes, we could have more money, but money is seriously not going to be an issue. But I want to start focusing on going towards my eventual true sun god, which we need to have $15,000 worth of sacrificing from every category within our strategy. If you take a look at our strategy, we have three categories. We have the match category with having the super monkey, the support category with having the village, and the primary category with having the ice. Holy crap, he's actually sending me a rush. <laughs> I just went for a random anti-balloon. I was, dude, I was trying to explain what I was explaining with the categories and whatnot. Brother was sending me not hyper dense or tight ceramics but a lot of fortified ceramics that is for sure let's go ahead and go with then our max sacrificing from the support category or i'm sorry what am i saying the magic category with having a 320 sun avatar here that's definitely more than enough from the support category we can simply go for a call to arms a little bit overkill since money is not an issue it is okay and then from the primary category with having the ice we just go for an absolute zero now Again, overkill, but want to make sure that we definitely have that 15k mark from every category. So now we can go ahead and go with the Sun Temple right here, right now. Beautiful. And we pretty much had to do the same exact thing once again before going for the true Sun God. But it's very important that we do not forget this on Adora. We need to make sure that she is level 20. If she is not level 20, she will not merge into the true Sun God and become the sun goddess adora which i'm sure a lot of you are familiar with which is why i haven't even brought it up until now but yes she can merge into the true sun god making it even more op it is absolutely insane but again you have to make sure that she is at the max level so i'm gonna go ahead and probably just blood sacrifice a tech terror here because if we sacrifice that tech terror it converts into xp which will level up adora and yes she hit level 20 from that so absolutely beautiful and we can pretty much just go for the same exact upgrades once again 
and we should be good to go, okay? We actually pretty much almost have enough money, too, even after going for these upgrades here. Because the true sun god, it's pretty cheap. Battles too, okay? $200,000? Like, yes, it is the most expensive upgrade in this game. But compared to, like, BTD6, I think it's, like, $500,000 in that game. So, kind of crazy. But let's go ahead and go for the true sun god, a.k.a. the sun goddess Adora. Since Adora herself, again, merged inside of it. And we can go ahead and cross path this with the middle path. So that it pretty much covers the entire map. Because with max support sacrificing, we have innate camera detection on our true sun god or sun goddess adora so we'll be able to pop camel balloons but more importantly ddt sense yes ddt's have camera properties those can get pretty scary you know i probably could rush this guy or actually i really can't because i'm not in a position to where i have too too much money although he might maybe die guys to ddt's but i'm not gonna test it okay i'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit because he could easily just go for like 20 different things that would easily shred DDTs. So I really don't want to deplete my eco because every DDT sign, if you take a look, will subtract our eco amount by 320. If I make them fortified, it's 640. So it's definitely not worth it. I'm not even sure if you guys could read that because dude, it's even hard for me to read right now. And I know like after I go back and edit this video, the quality is not going to be the greatest because that's just what happens when you go late game in battles too. There's a ton of projectiles and whatnot going off, ton of towers, so the bitrate or whatever just goes down. I don't even know what I'm yapping about right now. But literally with just this, I'm so confident against anything right now. Like, if he would have sent me a crap ton of fortified BEDs, I wouldn't even be scared. Not at all, because we could just go for like the homeland defense. We can go for the tier fives, other tier fives. I'm a super monkey. I'm just feeling confident against it because fortified BEDs at this point are just simply too weak. If you want to be safer and rush your opponent, let's say like if your opponent also has the Sun Goddess Adora, I would wait probably until like round 50. Seriously, this thing is absolutely OP. Now, if you don't have the village and whatnot, then you might be able to rush a little bit earlier on. Just know though that fortified BEDs, although they're the biggest, baddest mob class balloons in the game, it's not all that powerful at this point. But because of ramping, after every new round comes, the health and speed of all Moab class balloons increases, okay? That includes fortified BEDs. So that's why a round 30 fortified BED is a lot slower and a lot easier to take down than a round 50 fortified BED. But now I feel like we can kill our opponent if we send them a lot of fortified BEDs because they don't have the village within their strategy. So there's not much that they're gonna be able to do. I'm not even sure if like all their towers have camera detection. They kind of have just a bunch of randomness too. So I'm going to go ahead and just stop ecoing here. Kind of not smart for me to eco that hard if I plan on rushing, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and just sell all of our villages, which we just did. And now we can send these fortified BADs, which yes, yes, Etienne too is his hero. Etienne's not going to help him. Well, actually, he's going to have global camp detection with having Etienne. So I guess that's good for him. Wait. Oh, I thought he was sending me something. But yeah, I think just all out fortified BADs here. Is the best course of action i could even send some ddts but i don't think it's worth it okay the more bad's the merrier and he's not even going to try to counter so i, I don't even need anything else this is all i need right here bro i like obviously having a homeland defense and whatnot would help me i probably should balloon boost this yeah that would uh make the most sense so there we go with that he hasn't even tower boosted what's his plan he's still just decoying <laughs> brother like do you do you do you see all the fortified BEDs over on your side are you just like giving up do you think you can defend i don't know man okay let's go ahead and balloon boost or actually wait cannot get but the second that i can we're gonna go ahead and balloon boost did he even pop one fortified BED, guys i don't think he popped one dude look at all like the electricity on the fortified BEDs. that's from the laser shock on the darling gunner um, but oh, th there's your tower boost. I mean, you're you're a little late to that. Okay, and now you're gonna counter with DDTs. Now, dude, <laughs> I don't understand you, bro. And this time around, we have four hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars, fifty-six hundred eco on round thirty-three. So a little bit less money and a little bit more eco, barely. 
more eco, but we're gonna have to once again go for this Sun Goddess Adora, but I think immediately here, guys. I'm gonna upgrade her to level seven and then use that Blood Sacrifice ability to sacrifice this Tech Terror right here. So let's see how much XP that gives us because I'm actually kind of curious. So level seven to level 19. All right, that's pretty darn good. We actually kind of cut it close here. Barely enough money to go for the Sun Goddess Adora here, but hey, barely does in fact count. So there we go with that. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and go with the Monkeyopolis as well. Literally, bro, could I send this guy just one set of Fortified DDTs? Um, why are you using Biker and Bomb? Dude, I don't... Bomb and Mortar. I mean, I respect it because, like, I'm out here using the best strategy, sweating with meta practically. And he's out here just using something different, you know? So I got to respect that. But he literally might die... Or actually, no, he's got the blue incineration now. So that will be able to decam with DDTs for him. He has the balloon crush too, which we'll be able to stun. Spike Factory. This guy is a Chad, bro. But yeah, there's not much that we can do at this current moment. So I'm going to go ahead and just eco here, okay? Later. A perfect 20,000 eco it is. And round 40 is, in fact, here as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep all these village farms for the moment. Literally, I'm just going to keep this set up here. Got the Super Brittle, Icicle and Pale, and the Absolute Zero with the Sun Goddess Adora. And then we'll probably have a Homeland Defense to just help us out in case we need it. But we're pretty much going to do the same exact thing. I'm really wanting my opponents to rush me, but maybe they just know they can't really do anything. I'm not exactly sure, but like, bro, this dude has a bunch of randomness once again, just like the last guy. Like, what is your thought process behind this setup, bro? It's just cluttered. Like, the PP placements, you need to work on them, bro. AKA Pixel Perfect. That's what PP stands for. Anyway, we sold all the villages there. Look how laggy it is. Oh my gosh. The, oh, I didn't sell that one. But we have almost a million dollars. Okay, so we can rush him with almost a million dollars worth of Fortified BEDs. And after round 40, especially now that's round 42, these Fortified BEDs are going to be beefy. And, oh, sorry. Why are you saying sorry, bro? What, because you think you can shred this? Is that why you say, you're saying sorry? I don't care what you have, bro. I don't care if you have level 20 biker. It does not matter, bro. Look at how many fortified BEDs on your screen, bro. And you're not even going to try to count it. That's the funny thing. These players, they know they're screwed. They don't even try to count it. I mean, you, you can't really do anything anyway. But, like, you should try to at least send fortified BEDs immediately. Just so, like, I have something to worry about as well, you know? But, no. Nope, this guy, he, he's just going to give up. Fortified BEDs didn't even come close. GG's, I guess. Ooh, this person's on a six win streak. And we got a round 40 game. Holy crap, with over a million dollars, 12,000. Cyber Quincy! You're on a six win streak and you have Cyber Quincy as your hero. You are a certified Chad. This has got to be our best game yet, okay? I mean, if they're on a six win streak, they've got to be good at this game. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess, I don't know, should I have my true son god right here? Oh, he's got the super buggy too. Oh, but what for the temple with no sacrificing? Oh, no. Oh, my true sun god? I don't know if that's the play. I don't know if that's the play. Okay, I don't know why I'm going for a pixel perfect placement. I need to go for that level 7 and blood sacrifice. I'll cross path this time. Let's see if that takes it to level 20. But you guys already know the drill, okay? Going for the max sacrificing with every category. But let me show you guys sacrificing this. A 2-4-0 at level 7. Let's see if that takes it. Yep, level 20. Beautiful. I'm also going to go for a support temple, which I technically only need support sacrificing from, but I'll go ahead and have max sacrificing from everything. Go for you, beautiful. Cross path you with the middle path. And yeah, it's getting buffed by that. Okay, so I'll set you to strong just because why not? It is about to be round 40 here. I kind of want to go for the defend if I can. So I'm not going to rush them immediately. Although I probably could get the win right here right now because... Just like the other opponents, their setup really doesn't make too much sense. No offense, okay? But if you're on a six-win streak, I have more faith in you than compared to our last opponents, okay? Y you've got to know how to rush, at least, right? Oh, they're sending me tight ZOMGs. Oh, my. Okay, hey, tight ZOMGs are faster than BFBs. And hey, look, they're pushing. I can't lie. They, they are, in fact, pushing. So, wait, should I have, then, maybe... My Icicle and Pale. Wow, wait. They really pushed. Holy crap. Oh, wait. I'm kind of dumb. Okay, we're good here. Trust. We're good. We're good. I can't believe they pushed that much. Oh, shoot. Okay. Wow. 
That just shows Rampion exists, okay? The health and speed of those Fortified Zeom Chiefs has increased so much since the first round that they came out, which was what, round 22? Crazy, but a defender's a defend. Let's go ahead and actually, I don't know where I want my primary expertise. Guessing like more up here, which I don't know if that's going to affect this. No, it's not. Maybe if I have an absolute pixel perfect spot or if I go for it more over here, actually. I mean, bro, can you rush me? Look at these ZDTs. Look at them over on his... Oh, oh my... Oh, bro. Okay, you're balloon boosting hyper dense OMGs. It's better than nothing, but why not fortify BEDs? Can I can I ask that? Why not fortify BEDs? With the icicle and pale, I could just stun everything or freeze everything. Oh my gosh. Are you trying to lag me out? Is that your goal? Oh my, there's no way, guys. <laughs> there's no way I can win this game right here, right now. But I'm gonna continue it on for the culture. I want an actual rush to be sent, okay? I mean, just take a look at their side compared to mine. They didn't even remove the obstacle. Are we serious? Oh, I also never moved my face cam. Although it doesn't even matter. Dude, how are you on a six win streak? Okay, just said good luck. We're here in the next game and we're using the same exact strategy. Let's go ahead and see if we can defend here. I'm gonna go ahead and tower boost immediately because we have three of them. Buffer Isis as well. We could even blood sacrifice like a sun avatar back here. Look at how easily we're shredding, guys. We're using the same strategy, by the way. So no matter what, if you think about it, we still have a 100% win rate, even if we lose this game, because he's winning with the same exact strategy, making the win rate still 100%. Hopefully that kind of sort of makes sense. But uh, yeah, I guess I didn't need to like tower boost and whatnot. I went a little overboard with all of that. But I definitely still would like... Oh, he's crying. I would still like to keep on top of, like, my Kareen, uh, the whole man defense and whatnot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Beautiful. He actually stopped sending. Okay. I hope he didn't run out of money because we actually don't even have all that much eco here. Oh, wait. He's back to sending more. He is back to sending more. I don't think he was sending that, that much eco, though. So I don't think he can really send us all that many. So... I'm going to try to probably... Yeah, let's go ahead and micro this again. Of course, battle's too late game. Do be laggy. So I'm trying my best here. There we go. Buffer Isis again. Beautiful. We don't need a tower boost. We don't need a tower boost, bro. Like, this this is insane. There's 3 million pops for the Sun Goddess Adora. And once we can Blood Sacrifice again... Oh, he's Balloon Boosting... Come on. This is this is what I was waiting for, though. I was waiting for a late game rush like this. I could not believe the opponents that we encountered, man. Absolute insanity. Let's let's go ahead and uh, blood sacrifice you. Yeah, the, these sun avatars down here, they don't even have any pops. Because the BEDs aren't even making it that far. So I guess that's a good thing. It's okay that we blood sacrifice them. Okay, let me sell you again. Because now it looks like they're pushing a little bit more. But we're okay here. But this map is pretty short, so we have to be careful here. But like, surely you're running out of money, right? Like, I would not be surprised if he ran out of money. Although he did, actually has a little bit of room left to go for a few more towers. I could probably go for... I just thought about this. Maybe one more Super Monkey up here. I'm not exactly sure. But we... Oh, no, he's back with even more. Where is this money coming from, bro? Like, what? Are you doing cash drops or something from BTD6? Like, I must know. Only two more, though. Oh, bet. We're fighting against that. One more Homeland Defense. One more absolute zero ability there. And we're going to be able to freaking fully defend. I guess I could counter rush him because he does not have nearly as many sun avatars as us. And his placements, he does not have the PP placements, guys. Pixel perfect placements do matter. I'm about to show you guys why they matter. Because I'm going to be able to send him essentially $1 million worth of fortified BEDs here in a second. Should I do it right here, right now? Or is it is it too soon? I don't know, man. Screw it. I just want to show you guys how much of a difference it's going to make with his placement. So let's go ahead and send these right here right now. He still has all three tower boosts. He's going to be able to homeland. He Does he have super brutal? I don't know. Maybe the, maybe it's underneath the fortified BEDs. But look at how much further they're pushing over on his side. Look at that. My goodness. If I have to, like, just to have more money. Because at this point, he has no eco, by the way. He probably sent as many as he could. 
But if I have to, I can sell off my defense over on my side because he really can't counter rush us. He just simply can't. So I'm going to go ahead and just start selling off my defense if I can. It's so laggy that sometimes the hotkeys don't work. But we're good here. Sell off all the sun avatars all the way back here. If I can, I'm going to go ahead and balloon boost too once I can. All right, I just have to like spam my hotkey. All right, we're good here. He's still defending though. But like I said, they're definitely making their way through. He's going to have tower boost again, which he's going to be able to. Okay, balloon boost. Okay. At this point, I'm just going to keep like my sun goddess Adora. My tier five. All right, I don't even really need the tier fives. Yeah, let's sell him. We'll get a lot more money. Oh, yeah, he's screwed. He is absolutely freaking cooked. No doubt about it. Even with having the Legend of the Night, the Black Hole can only suck up Paz, but only can suck up one fortified BAD. So we're going to take him down using this same exact strategy. That just proves it right there. PP placement through matter chat. And also I proved that this strategy has a 100% win rate. If you just have the PP placements, you go for the max sacrificing and you have all of the necessary tier fives and whatnot, you're gonna shred against any rush, maybe up until like round 50 plus because those rounds get pretty tough. But if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we go up against the new Blastopopolis boss balloon, but use the wizard paragon against it. It goes crazy, check it out.